Hey guys, Mike over here at Cougar Chemical. Uh, January 2024, having a pretty interesting ice storm out there where we had uh, four inches of snow hit the ground and right now it's in the mid-20s. Uh, we've got some freezing rain hitting the ground, making it really, really slick. Leaves us not a lot to do over here today. So in principle, we understand uh, that a lot of our industrial clients will, will use a uh, liquid ice melt and a hot water pressure washer. I've personally never done it before, but we're going to try to recreate it here, clear out a little bit of area so maybe we can get some deliveries and uh, some folks can safely get in and out of the parking lot. What we're going to use here is uh, 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 calcium chloride, uh, also known as uh, Tetraflex. Uh, we're going to mix up six bags of this and 100 gallons of uh, water in the machine here. Got a hot water pressure washer pushing about five gallon a minute, 3,500 PSI, and we're gonna give this a go and see what happens. The ratio of this is about 2.5 pounds per uh, gallon of water. So we've got uh, six 50 pound bags that we're gonna put in here to the 100 gallons of water. So let's get at it and see what we can come up with. All right, so that took about an hour. We had uh, 100 gallons of water, six bags of the uh, Tetra Flake in there. I ran this machine about as hot as it could go. When we, uh, one of the things we learned when we switched over to the turbo nozzle, that really helped us be able to cut through that ice. And that was, and and that did. That wasn't snow anymore. That was pretty well solid ice. And I'm not going to say that that was easy or anything of that nature. That was not coming off real easy. Um, I don't. Think, I think it probably had frozen solid to the point where it would have been just nearly impossible to get with a shovel. Uh, the intent is uh, that uh, with the chemical being put down, that that's not going to refreeze uh, unless something, you know, more weather comes in. I think we're going to be okay out there. So if we get a shipment or something comes in the freight dock anytime in the next couple of days, I think we're going to be okay with that without refreezing. It is terrible outside. Get well road right out front. The same FedEx truck has been stuck there now for about the last hour and a half. So, you know, it's not pleasant out here. 
in the inclement weather, we were able to get that cleaned up and, and make that functional that if we were to get a freight shipment or something, that can be done. Uh, the machine performed wonderfully. Um, I think that's the way to, way to go. If you absolutely have to have something broken free of the ice, it's the only way to do it, I think. Hey, have fun out there. That work is not for the faint of heart. <laughs>